One of the most common pieces of advice that you'll get in raising your EQ is to take a beat, take a moment, and instead of reacting, which is where a lot of mistakes happen, you have a moment where you're in the present and you are aware of what's going on. But when you're taking that beat, what are you supposed to be doing? You can't just sit there blank without any thoughts in your head. And so I wanna give you a few suggestions of what you can do as you're taking the moment to see what that situation is shaping up to be. The The first thing that I want you to do is to really listen for what the person is thinking and feeling and experiencing. Sure, you may be feeling just fine about a situation, but if they're frustrated, instead of backing away or trying to convince them of something, taking that moment to really hear how they are feeling, how serious it is, and what it is that they're reacting to will help you eventually react to the situation properly. The second thing that I want you to do with this beat or this moment is to listen for your own triggers. Maybe you don't like it when people are angry. Maybe you don't like um, reacting to that situation that that other person is having a hard time with. You feel like you've beat it and you don't want to deal with it again. You have a variety of triggers or things that you are feeling in response to what that person is bringing up and understanding what those are will also help you respond appropriately. The final thing that you can do is really think about whether or not you want to respond now or later. Now, some of you want to always respond later, later meaning maybe never. And some of you just want to get it over with right now. But the reality is, is that the power to choose the right moment is part of EQ because it's all about managing your own emotions and handling the people around you most effectively. So really listen to what that person is saying and how they're feeling. Remember to check in with yourself to see how you're feeling. And then as those solutions come up, assess the situation and decide, do I want to respond right away? Maybe that's the best thing. Or do I want to take a little more time, maybe choose a better moment, formulate your thoughts, and deal with it later. You see, figuring out how to raise your emotional intelligence isn't really that hard. And actually, it's not about putting you on the spot. It's about taking a second to see what this moment is presenting you with and then really thinking through what it is that you want to do, how you want to respond so that it is beneficial to everyone.